welcome back to the channel it's your girl selena and tonight you guys i'm gonna be shooting a video of me doing a self-care routine so after a long week of work finally i have went back to work because you know i i was home from work for about two months with tendonitis and i finally went back to work um i worked all week from monday through friday and now I am off for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Today is Friday. So I decided why not do a wind down from the weekend for from the week type of thing for the weekend so I can be like, you know, relaxed and refreshed for tomorrow and Sunday and kind of get myself like basically back to 100%. So when it's time for me to go back to work on Monday, I feel my best. So... Before we hop into this video, I need you guys to do me a huge favor if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video from your girl. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash this like, the like button and drop a comment down below if you guys want to get a shout out in my next lit video. So tonight we're going to do a series of things. So first we're going to work on doing a face mask. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to do a face mask. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to wash and condition my hair. I'm going to soak in the bathtub with some Epsom salt so I can relieve some of these aches and muscles off of my body from working all week. And then I'm also going to comb and brush out my hair. I'm probably going to have one of my daughters help me part my hair so that one of them can help me oil my scalp because my scalp is like really, really dry for the last couple of days. And it's been like irritating me to the point where I've been like digging out my scalp. So I need to wash my hair, get all that dirt and stuff out of my hair from all week, get my, my grease like in my scalp and like oiled up and stuff like that. So we're doing a self-care video tonight. So first we're going to start out with, before I do my face mask, I usually like to like brush my hair back and get everything off of like my face just to make sure like because i'm about to do a charcoal mask and i like to brush all my hair back to make sure that there's no there's no uh hair on my face just like that and then first we're gonna do is we're going to wash okay, our hands so i got a little bit of hand soap excuse me for my billet but i got a little bit of hand soap left over that's just enough for me to wash my hands so that I can get my face ready for my face mask. Okay, so now I'm going to wet my face with just regular water just to get some of the excess oil off and then I'm gonna go ahead and pat it dry. All right, so this is the face the uh, peel off charcoal mask that I've been using. I don't think it's the right charcoal mask just because it's, I always thought that when you do a charcoal mask, it's supposed to like hurt when you peel it off. But this one, it, like, it's actually pretty satisfying. I love feeling it ripping off my face because I like knowing that it's getting all the like blackheads and stuff that's just been on my face all week. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use this applicator to put it on. I'm going to just show you guys how I do, I'm going to show you guys how I do some of it and then I'm going to go back in the mirror because I would sit here and do it on my phone, but my phone's broken and I can't barely see y'all, but y'all can see me because there's nothing wrong with my camera. It's just not wrong with my screen and yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and get this started. Here's to a night, I can see a little bit. Here's to a night full of love and self-care. And while I'm taking my bath, I'm going to be playing some guided med meditation sounds to relieve stress. I'm going to play some frequencies. And I'm just going to relax in the tub for about 20 minutes with some Epsom salt. I'm going to show you guys all the products that I'm using. So if you guys want to use some of the stuff or know what it is. I got this from Walmart, just so you know. And I think it's like $12, I'm not sure. 
but it works really good. You definitely notice a difference when you peel this thing off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this done. And I'm going to show you guys the final results when I come back. Okay, guys, so this is the final result. <laughs> Girl, I need some teeth whitenings. Oh my lord, I can't believe it's not butter. If y'all know any good teeth whitenings, let me know. Because this girl is... <laughs> so anyways, this is what it looks like after I done gone ahead and put my whole face with a face mask. Now it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to fully dry, okay? So I'm going to go sit in the room with my girls and watch tv and let it dry and in about 30 to 40 minutes we'll be back when i tell y'all when it's time to peel this it's so satisfying stay right there you don't want to miss this <laughs> you guys i'm sitting in front of the fan in my room so it can dry faster and while i'm sitting here it's just sitting here dripping <laughs> but i feel silly it feels good it feels like a coolness on your face i'm telling y'all i can't wait to peel it off because that's even more satisfying i get so weak in the knees i can hardly speak i lose my control this all that takes over me <laughs> Have you, did, did you really live if you never did that before? Okay, so now that it's all dry and it's stiff, Alila's gonna help me oh, it's dry. take it off. I feel like it's dry. Start yeah, right it. here. No, start right here. I like when it all comes off like one big sheet so I can look at it after. Okay, yeah, let's start right here because the bottom's getting stuck to my... Oh, you can start from the bottom. <laughs> start right here. Oh, wait, no. Here. Alala, please don't, don't rip it off of me. Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. The rest of it that didn't come off, I just take a shower and wash it off with hot water and it comes off. Wait, but there's some right here. As long as like it gets this, 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 and whatever else it felt like taking off, we're good. So let me just show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see there's some on your hair. the results. Like, do you guys see the nose area? That's because it took off all the nasty stuff. Very satisfying. 10 out of 10. Now we're going to get ready to take a shower. Wait. Hurry up. Stop before they you get in me wet. <laughs> now they're here to shower. <laughs> Alright. They can't even <laughs> Alright guys, so now that I'm done taking a shower. I'm not gonna do the bath until in the morning time when it's quiet and my kids are asleep so I can actually enjoy the peace and quiet of taking a bath. You guys know how it is if you got kids. You try to take a bath with kids, it ain't happening, okay? I was lucky enough to even take a shower for five minutes until they started running in the bathroom to come fight with each other and chase each other in the bathroom while I was taking a shower. So I was like, you know what? Let me just wrap this up. Like as I'm filming, they're walking behind the camera after I told them to stay in the room for a second while I do this part of my video. So like I was saying, so all week when I have to go to work, I am so lazy when it comes to my hair, you guys. When I gotta go to work in the morning, I usually just put some leave-in conditioner, some gel, brush it up into a bun, and then go like that. I don't even comb my hair out during the week. I comb my hair out when the week is over, and I be regretting that shit because 
my hair be super super tangled and i be in there combing like just brushing out mad hair like i threw out like two chunks of hair because it was all tangled and knotted. So now that it's all combed out, like I said earlier, my scalp is super duper duper dry. So I don't ever really do this to my scalp only when it's dry and like itchy. So what I'm about to do is, I'm about to sit here and, I'm about to sit here and oil up my scalp. I'm gonna do a little bit on camera just so you guys can see me doing it. And then I'm gonna take this in the bathroom and do it. So I'm using Blue Magic coconut oil hair conditioner to oil my scalp up. I'm pretty sure this isn't good for me, but I'm using it anyways because it's itchy and dry. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the heat outside because that's the only time I notice my scalp do that is when it's summertime. Because during the winter, I'll be feeling like that. Only when the winter, only when the summertime is here and it's like hot and I'm all sweating and stuff, is when I feel like my scalp is super dry. So we're gonna give it what it needs. I washed it, and now we're gonna oil up my scalp. And I'm not gonna put too much. I'm just gonna do it in the areas that is like dry. And I can barely see what I'm doing right now, but I'm feeling my way. I'm just putting a little bit, like I'm not putting a lot. I'm putting like this much. Okay. Anybody else got some tips on what to do for dry scalp? Cause I need some help. All right, so we're gonna finish doing this and then I'll be back. Now that I'm done oiling up my scalp, I'm gonna, and I combed it out again, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner. I parted it into half. And because I plan on taking my kids out to the pool, I do plan on fixing my hair tomorrow. Probably just put it in like two braids or something like that, something simple. So, so that I don't have to re-comb it out as much in the morning, I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part it and I'm going to put my hair and two little pigtails with twists like this to keep it from tangling up overnight. And I'm going to secure it with a rubber band at the bottom. And this is all self-care, you guys. Self-love, self-care. This is me taking care of my, I took care of my face. I did a face mask. I, I washed my face with face scrub. I took a shower with some lavender castile soap. Hold on, give you a second, I dropped the comb. With some lavender castile soap. I lotioned up with some shea butter, um, moisturizer. I put on some deodorant so my armpits could smell good. I combed out my hair. So that my hair can be all, see, beautiful looking. I'm putting some deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner in my hair overnight. So when I wake up in the morning, it's easier for me to manage. This is all a part of self-care, you guys. Self-maintenance, to be exact. Okay. This is, this is how you make yourself feel good. This is how I make myself feel good. And I need a reset because I worked all week. And in order for me to be able to be at peace with myself for the weekend, I need to make sure I take away all the impurities from the week. And then, you know, tomorrow, like I said, we're gonna go to the pool and I'm gonna take a bath in the morning before I go outside with some Epsom salt. It's gonna be good. So stay tuned for the morning. I just want to show you guys what I look like. <laughs> I look like the little girl off of Matilda when she spun her around with the pigtails. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the morning. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so it's the next day, and it is about 11 o'clock, and I literally just woke up out of bed. <laughs> so please don't mind how my hair looks. As you can tell, 
this is the result of me not putting a bonnet or anything on my head so i literally just woke up and when i tell you my back and my spine is on fire i don't know if i slept wrong i don't know if my mattress is not good enough or it's because i haven't worked in so long that it feels like like a workout like i had a workout all week and i'm finally like my body is like trying to get used to me working again so thankfully thank god i have a massage chair so i literally just woke up and hopped right in it so this is a part of self-care so this is this is what the massage chair looks like it's supposed to be in a chair but i like to put it on the floor just so it can get my back really good it basically just rolls i don't know if you could see I don't know if you can see that, but it just rolls. It just rolls. It's nothing fancy. It has different, it's like it vibrates, it has heat. You could focus on your upper back, lower back, or your whole back. You could set the timer for five minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. I usually set it for 15 minutes, and I usually do it for about two sessions until i feel like my back feels better so what turned out what what was supposed to be for me to do good morning what was supposed to be for me to do a self-care night is gonna turn into me doing a self-care weekend video so i'm gonna shoot this video for the next three days so i'm just gonna do bits and pieces of things that i do during the weekend that consist of me doing self-care so I hope you guys are excited about that. So I'm going to sit here in my massage chair and drink some water out of my new water bottle that Christina got me. And yeah, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So here's that a part of our self-care weekend. I decided for us yeah, to yeah, all go yeah, to the park, me, Angela, no. Lila, and Christina. Say, hey, little boy. We all at the Capitol Crossings in Albany and we decided to come feed the fish in the ducks. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys real Look quick us origin. feeding all the fishies. Where are the fishies? Go ahead, give him some more. Look at that one. Hey, you orange fish. Look, get it. Give oh. a little piece to Alana so she can throw one in there. <laughs> They're splashing my legs. A turtle. Look, Angela, look at the turtle. Oh, she has a turtle. You see the turtle, Angela? Oh. Look at the black fish. <laughs> Red. Look at Christina giving the ducks and the fishies bread. Okay, guys, now we're going on a nature walk inside Capitol Crossings Park. They have this trail that we could walk in and get some fresh air and smell the trees, get some exercise. So that's what we're doing right now. Say hey, guys. Hi. So, person from New York City, how does it feel walking through this nature? We have parks. Okay, well, how does it feel walking through this park? It feels regular. Does it feel relaxing? Yeah, it's regular. Does it feel... Read the sign back what sign? What to say? It's kind of about birds and mushrooms and stuff. I know, that's in here. Yeah. We just gotta find them. Like the mushrooms are on the... Um, it's on the trees, I know. That yeah, the thing. mushrooms are on the trees. If you go to, like, wet areas, like, down there, that's where they would be. They grow near woods. Yeah, I read a sign before that said that they lived off of whatever was growing on these trees. That's what's on that thing. But I can't tell what plants are what because so some of the. Have to go, you have to. You would have to like have on real like shoes to go down there because it's the wet. When you go foraging, foraging is where you go and find food. From yeah, the you gotta have certain boots on. You have to, yeah, but you have to go by the water. Is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. They would go. I'm not. The water. Oh ma'am. So like but some there. of the some of the greens though that are growing are also edible too. 
just don't know which one. This is not it, though. I wouldn't be able to tell. You can smell it. Okay, so if I'm being honest, I'm ending the video about two days later. <laughs> so, basically, it was supposed to be a video of me doing self-care for one day. Then it turned into two days. Then it turned into three days. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with that at all. Self-care is self-care no matter what. So, to end the video, I am. I was supposed to do um, a bath scene with me doing a bath. But to be honest, I haven't even got to get to a bath yet. Just a simple fact, my kids been just... It's not just the right, it's not the right time to take a bath. It's not the right time. But I am going to end the video on a positive note. <laughs> We're going to end the video with some, my favorite Tazo Glaze Lemon Loaf Tea. This is really, 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 really good. If you are a tea drinker, I highly, highly recommend for you to try this. So you get the this tea right here. You get a shot of French vanilla or hazelnut creamer and you use pure maple syrup for it. So I'm, I'm sitting here making me, Alila and Angela a cup of tea. Christina says she's not ready for hers till later. But anyways, I just wanted to end the video here. If you guys like it, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on all post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next lit video. Till next time, peace, love, and grace. Bye.